We just hate it when your chassis gets old and you wore out a little bit. Just because of age. Not neglect, just because of age. And you got to patch it back together. That's what we're doing today. Almost sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but maybe I don't. All right, guys, welcome back. We got you, we got yourselves a dinger. No, we got a dinger for you today. We got Mom Skate here today. That's Saturn View. It is a 2007, I want to say. And it's got a common problem. The common problem is the front motor mounts where the frame meets the motor mount, which is an H mount, runs underneath the motor. I'll show you in a minute. Ran out of breath there. Uh, it rusts out. The common problem with the Saturn views from, I think, 2003 all the way up to 2000 and whatever. The Torrances do it. The Equinox does it. Any other GM product that happens to be the small, what they call crossover or small SUV, they all rot out. And I'm going to show you how to fix it in your driveway with minimal tools. Maybe. All right, so let me see if I can show you what the problem is here. So we're at the right front. If you look down right here, it's got a hole rusted in it. And right below it, that's where the motor mount is. We have to repair the side of this. It doesn't look like it's rusted out too bad. So uh, it might not take as much metal as I thought, but... Let me get this jacked up, get this wheel off, and see if we can get a better look. All right, we got it jacked up on a jack stand. Rear wheel is blocked. We're going to take a 19 millimeter and remove lug nuts. Or not. All right, we got it broke loose with the four way here. Apparently, there was not enough, uh, not enough beans in the impact. Bring you all in a little closer. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See here? So we're going to take this cover off and just pull it back a little bit. But this is all part of the frame. All this metal up here. It's all tied in with this right here. So we're going to have to probably weld up here and down around here as well. All right. Well, we got things taken apart now. We just took the uh, inner fender wall out. That's held in just by these plastic clips. And there's a special pair of pliers that you can get to take these out but what I did I had an old Mastercraft set of screwdrivers this come with a fork I took my angle grinder and made it a little bit bigger obviously size it behind and pop them out and away you're done I just tied that off up there so we'll get in the way you better look at what we got going on here it's not as bad as I thought it was and so if we look at the inside so here's our outside i just showed you if we come inside it's good and solid there's really no need to cut that out we do have a little bit of rot in the front right here which we're going to take care of that as well but other than that i don't think it's that bad first things first we're going to come in here with a wire wheel clean all this up and see exactly where we're at you see some of it flaking off here but the bolt's still in good shape the rod that's in here is still in good shape and the inside up here is still solid so there's no sense cutting that out if you don't have to the rest of the frame seems to be in really good shape though the driver's side is fine but apparently this is quite common on these cars helps to have a fresh battery all right get back to it My oh my. You gotta be kidding me. I'll uh, get going with this other dead DeWalt battery because why would they not all be dead? That's how you want to start the job, right? Well, there isn't a whole lot we can do about the two dead batteries other than wait for them to charge. We're going to take a cutoff wheel and we're going to cut across here and make a decent opening. And I found some. Uh, inch and a half flat stock that used to identify as angle iron we're going to figure out how to get that across there but make it solid it's about safety the rest of the bucket is good i can see all the way down in here that's solid 
that's solid. It's just this hole right here. See, we now got a fairly decent up, over, and down. And we're going to weld this right here and right on across. And we're going to tack it to this piece right here because this is solid and this is solid. And uh, that should hold things. Should. So here's where we are at. We still haven't wire wheeled yet. We're waiting on the uh, Dewalt batteries to charge up. All right, slight change of plans as usual. The motor mount was not in as bad a shape as I thought. So we're going to go with some, some, uh, some, some, uh, no, we're not going to go with some, some, uh, we're going to go with 14 gauge metal because it'll make life a little easier just to tack that in place once everything is cleaned up. So here's what we got. Oh, actually it's 16. We're going to go with 16, but look at this. Hopefully you can read that. Eight inches by 24 inches, 16 gauge metal. Eight inch by 24 inch piece. 16 gauge. How much you pay for that? Canada. How much did I pay for that? $33. $33 for a piece of metal. PV Mart, aka Tractor Supply. You need your head red. Or <laughs> maybe I need my head red for paying for it, but I had to have it. So here we are. Got my fancy arrow there. Look at my artistic skills. That's the front of the car. Let's point into the front. We're going to put this on here, trace it out. And I did cut a little too much off here, so I know I gotta add more. And uh, get it bent up and welded in. Hit record, folks, you gotta hit record. Of course I did not. This is the uh, piece I cut it a little too much of. That was it. All right, let's get the cutoff wheel. All right, well, let's take a look here. So this one here is gonna go up in here. The tab on the left, I don't have enough hands. The tab over here is gonna get bent down into this piece right here. So that's not too big of a dip there, but so this gets welded in there and then cut off straight. But before that goes in, so this piece here is going on the inside. And it is going to wrap right around the front and be welded on there. And this piece is going to get welded to this as well. And when that's done, this piece here goes over and gets welded into there. And once it's all spot welded into place, I can just manipulate it a little bit and make it look a little better like it's supposed to be there. Because it, I guess it's supposed to be there. Let me get this bent up and I think my battery's got to be charged by now so I'll get the wire wheel going again. Let me get all this cleaned up and maybe I'll tack a couple pieces in place here and we'll see what's going on. Or I won't. Now just having said all that uh, we are rapidly running out of daylight and it would appear we got another storm coming. So I'm going to pack up my tools. I've got everything bent the way I need it. This can be a matter of tacking it in tomorrow. Uh, this is what happens when you work in your driveway. This is the way it is and I ain't complaining. Because some people don't have a driveway to work in, so we'll make the best of it. See y'all in the morning. Apparently Ella was scamming me and I didn't even notice. It has been a minute since we've been back on the Saturn. Uh, the weather is not cooperating. As you can see, I'm still in my driveway. It's been raining for days, so it's been probably two or three days since we got back here. Anyway, I'll do a little bit of more trimming on our internal piece here. We're going to get that set up in there. It fits good now. We're going to put a tack on it to hold it. And then we're going to finish the weld all the way around. Then we're going to go to our external piece, which is this one right here. And then it's going to go on, and then the frame should be set. I love doing this stuff. We got the back corner tacked 
I'm gonna go around the front, tack it, and we'll get the rest of it burned in. Well, we got her welded along here. Looks like some boogers. I'm trying to weld upside down. I'm not the greatest welder to begin with, but welding upside down does not exactly go very well. But we got her done. It is welded all the way across here. I'm going to take the flapper disc and I'm going to smooth that out so it looks halfway decent. And we're going to weld the front up. I'm going to put some black paint on there just to give the uh, metal some treatment so it doesn't rust out so quick. I mean, it's going to rust. It is what it is, but we're doing our best to Slow it down. Trim clad. Rust paint. Just what we're looking for. Oh, it's bubbling. That means uh, it's still hot. That's all right. We're going to send it through there anyways. All right, so that's the inner piece. Now, we gotta fit the outer piece. Hey. Cats are trying to have a fight over there. I'm gonna put a little bit of a bend over here. It seems to wanna go around the corner right there, so I'll be right back. We got a couple tacks holding that on. I'm going to tack it all the way around and then we'll seal it up. Hi! <laughs> Bye, I must now look away. Dad's welding. Teach him young. We'll get this done up and we'll be right back. Well, hey, sorry about the sun. Jesus, Murphy. I should have done this before I put the wheel on, but I didn't. But here's the end result. As you can see, that's our motor mount right there. This is our new piece that we welded in. And we have our inner piece on the inside. I did have a couple of pinholes in here because the metal was thin in some spots. I just took some JB weld and filled those holes in because the welder was just going to blast its way through there. So it was easier just to mix up some JB weld and put it in there and call it a day. Anyway, that's the easy way to fix your frame if it's not rotted out too bad. There is a guy on YouTube that makes the buckets for these, Clay's Way. Now you just search him up on YouTube, you'll probably find him. He does make the buckets for these, but I did not need an entire bucket. It was just a small hole in there. I feel like I'm talking in a tunnel. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Again, if it's rotted too bad, replace the whole thing. It's only got a small hole. It's easy to fix. Later.